everyone welcome back to the American Warbo Northwest YouTube channel I'm Cody I'm here at Lake Sacagawea in Longview Washington I'm on Lions Island uh, Lions Island is a nice little tree garden if you will but there are two trees here that are kind of important to us as English Warbo archers and I'll be showing them to you today so let's get started with the first one so here we have the Western Pacific U Taxus brevifolia here it is right here. And I'll go up to it. You can see the bark. It's kind of a scaly violet purple. Nice looking tree. And when these were kind of fresher cuts, maybe these ones up here, I could count the rings. This tree is about 40 years old. So this tree, so that takes it back to roughly 1962. So it's not very old as you trees are concerned, but it's still a nice, beautiful tree. You can see this one kind of grows with twist. Kind of twist as it grows, so it wouldn't make a very good bow tree. But nonetheless, beautiful yew tree. And there's this one down here, that's a yew tree too. So yeah, there's your, West, your Western Pacific yew that grows here in uh, Washington, Oregon, Canada even up to the lower parts of Alaska. So now we're gonna walk a little bit farther down the island and take a look at another tree. It's still a yew tree, but it's a European yew, Texas Bacata. And there's something special about this tree. And you'll see that when we get down there. I have lived in Longview my whole life and started shooting war bows a few years ago. And I didn't find these trees until a few months ago. And I was very surprised and excited. Oh, archer. Any archer. It doesn't have to be an English Warbo archer. But any archer or bowyer will know that the yew tree is very special to, to archery. And makes very good bows. Okay, here we are. Here's the European yew, the Taxus Picata. The whole view. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's go look at the placard. You'll notice something very special. The Irish U, as they call it. Taxus Bacata Stricta. Arose in Florence Court, Ireland, 1750. So that makes this tree over 200 years old. That's a very old tree. Now the oldest yew trees, as I'm aware, are a couple thousand years old. Up to 2,000, I think there was even one that was up to 4,000. It's a very, very old, ancient trees. And this one is over 200 years old, which is very impressive. Now you'll notice something different with the this European uh, yew tree compared to that Pacific yew we looked at earlier. This one grows quite straight. Let's see if we can get some better lighting. There we go. This one grows quite straight. Those long straight trunks. The grain is actually very straight in these trees in some areas. So this probably would make some decent bows. But since it's on this island, it'll probably remain for a while. And it deserves it. It's a very, very ancient historical tree. It deserves the life. So we'll leave it up. And that, this tree right here, that's another Pacific U. It's hanging out down there. But yeah, this Irish yew is a very beautiful tree over 200 years old, and I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Here we can take a look at the, the branches of the Irish yew. There's the top side. There's the bottom side. So I just want to share that with you guys today. And what makes the yew tree so valuable to archery? Well, the sapwood is very tension resistant, and the heartwood is very compression resistant so it kind of is a natural lamination it makes a very good very good spring if you will uh, to make a bow out of so I just wanted to share that with you guys today I thought that was cool to find a couple yew trees right in the middle of town that I've never known about and have one of them be over 200 years old that's pretty neat alrighty well that's all I got for now see you guys later 